Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I got a wash and go using some products from the June Curl Box. They are from African Pride, part of the Moisture Miracle Collection. So if you guys want to see how I did my wash and go, then keep on watching. So I am starting off with a very old wash and go that has been up in a puff and I'm going to go in first with the pre shampoo. This is obviously from African Pride. It's the uh, aloe and coconut water detangle and condition pre shampoo and I use this to detangle my hair. I do give you guys my thoughts at the end of the video so I'm not going to get too much into that but I do go in with my fingers and detangle and then I go in with my wide tooth comb and just apply that to my hair. And then after I apply it, I do go in and shampoo and condition my hair, which I used my products from Moisture Love, the Gentle Embrace, and the Deep Indulgence Conditioner to deep condition. So now I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner from the African Pride Moisture Miracle line. And I'm just going to apply this all over this um, large section and work that in. Then I'm going to go in with my Tweezerman brush and or tweezerman tangle teaser brush and i'm just gonna brush that out and twist it back up so that it doesn't dry up and i'm just gonna do this all over my head i do have about six or seven sections when i did this particular um wash and go Next, I'm gonna go through each section and apply the five essential oils. And then I'm gonna go in with the gel and cream to style my hair. And I do do this shingling method as I always do. Um, and this is the curl defining cream and or gel and cream. And again, I will get to the, my thoughts at the end of this video of the products. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go in and shingle my hair And then I do sit under my hooded dryer um, to dry my hair and I'm just I do shingle my hair you guys see me do that most of the time and I do sit under my hooded dryer and let my hair dry for about an hour and a half with this product I think I did an hour maybe 45 minutes to an hour I don't think I did a full hour but I think it was like 45 minutes I did um, sat under the dryer my hair was completely dry which you guys can see here and after I did this, I just pulled my hair up in a ponytail until I finished my makeup. And then um, I will show you guys the final look in a second. Okay, guys. So I am back. This is the completed look after I stressed my hair. I did no part today. I usually do a center part or a left part. But I decided to do no part today because I kind of wanted more of an afro feel wash and go. I haven't done an afro feel wash and go. And I want to say I love this look I love how my hair feels it feels super soft um I love how my coils are even though I like brushed it out a lot and combed it out a lot let me like focus it a little bit so you guys can really see what your girl is working with um 
yeah so that is my hair I love how my coils look even though like I picked it out a lot it still has a lot of texture um, and I love that I love texture here and it's, it's just giving me all types of vibes right now I, I love this look um, yeah as far as the African pride products go as a hold of what I think of them um, so the leave-in conditioner I love I should take that out right <laughs> it's a little um, the African, the, the leave-in conditioner, I really, really like that leave-in conditioner. It's actually really, really good, really thick. I definitely want to go out and get the curling cream, though, and try that as a wash and go. Um, because I feel like those two with the oil would be a really good combo. So I love the leave-in conditioner. Um, the oil, I really like. It's really nice. It's light, light. It's not too thick. So it was really good to, like, work into my scalp and to... Scrunch out, scrunch out what crunch I did have, um, which it was a little bit of crunch, not as much as it would be if I just used like a regular gel, Eco Stylo gel, but it did have some crunch to it. Um, but between that and me stretching my hair with my blow dryer, it it really didn't make pay me any like it wasn't a big deal. Um, as far as the gel and cream, okay, so I like it. I guess like my curls, they are defined. What I don't like, and this is probably going to make me not use it again, sorry, let me fix that long, um, is the smell. I thought I was going to, the smell, the, I don't smell it in my hair right now or anything like that, but that smell, it was really tough for me personally to get through. My nose is very sensitive to smells and strong smells. I do, like, there are products that I've used before where I'm like not a fan of the smell, but this one, like, I literally had to fight through the smell as I'm doing my hair. I did not like the smell at all. At all. Now, mind you, it does not linger. So, if your nose isn't, like, as sensitive as mine, then it really won't matter. Um, but I probably won't use the gel and cream again. Um, honestly, I did have some flaking. Um, I don't know if it's because I used too much. Um, but even if I did, I mean, it's all in the same line. So I really shouldn't be flaking at all. Just my opinion. I might have used a little bit too much of the gel and cream. So I did get some flaking. Like as I was like fluffing my hair and like shaking it out, I saw like little, and I have on a black shirt. So with like, you know. Um, I saw like some flakes on it, but you can't see them in my actual hair. So, but I did notice like when I was like fluffing and picking that there were some like white, um, flakes coming out. So it did flake up on me a little bit, not a huge deal. I really don't care about flaking as long as I don't see it sitting in my hair, but I just wanted to mention that because it did flake. But as far as the gel and cream is concerned, I did not like the smell. Like, the smell, like, turned me off completely. And I have not felt that way about a product in a long time to the point where it makes me not want to use it because it was just too strong for my nostrils. And my nostrils are a little overly sensitive, so that's why I usually don't buy, like, products that have, like, perfumey or fragrancy type of scents. I usually stick with products that have, like, a more natural kind of smell. So, you know, don't. Don't just don't not use it because I said it stinks because I mean it's pretty good nonetheless um oh the pre-shampoo oh the pre-shampoo is bomb grade a definitely definitely gonna use that again really 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 good and for it to work like on dry hair like you guys saw I didn't wet my hair before I applied it it worked really good it's really slippery and it really helps with the detangling process especially if you're the type of person who detangles before you actually get in the shower it's really really good for that um, and nonetheless my results they came out really good with all the products honestly um, but as far as like what my favorites are my favorites are definitely the leave-in the pre-poo and the oil I will use the mousse in another video um, from this curl box. I'll use it in another video. I don't use mousses that often, so I'll have to find a use for it because I don't do roller sets and rod sets and flexi rods like that. That's not really my thing, but I have seen people doing wash and go with the mousse, so I may try that, um, coming up, but for, with that mousse, but for now, um, I love the results. I love how it came out. I actually loved how everything worked together. The only drawback from it was the cream and gel, the smell. Honestly, the flaking is not really a big deal because honestly, I think I used a little bit too much because I wasn't too sure what what we're doing here. But um, nonetheless, yes, your girl is feeling like a queen. I mean, I feel like a queen every day, but this hair, girl, this hair, this hair makes me want to carry my pick for the rest of the day. I'm going to carry my pick all day, every day, and I will pick this thing out 
continuously because you know when it gets humid outside you hear me trying to be funny and like shrink up on you but what we're not going to do today we're not doing that today here we are not shrinking up today because she this pick right here this is the Cantu double lift she coming with us all day okay so your girl will be ready when you start being funny okay nonetheless your girl is ready i'm out i'm about to leave i have somewhere to be i'm probably like an hour and a half late but you know what it's the cookout who's who's on time for a cookout the food probably ain't even ready now and i'm all right i'm two hours late and the food probably ain't even on the grill yet so you know i'm just gonna take my sweet ass time getting there but i hope you guys enjoy this video um let me know um if you guys enjoyed it, let me know if you tried any of the other products from the from this um, Moisture Miracle line. And yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll see you guys next yeah, time. So definitely stay centered, keep your peace, and keep those people around you who give you that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.